In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make custom eye textures for Inklings, Octolings, or well, pretty much any Splatoon model. And what you need is, of course, SFM, a VTF edit, and some kind of editing program like Photoshop, Paint.net, GIMP, or yeah, anything like that. So I'm assuming you already have the models, and if not, go to the workshop and get them. So I'm gonna right click and add a new model, and search for Inkling Girl, or Boy, or whatever. I'll go with eh, the basic one. So to begin with, I'm gonna just adjust the eyes. There we go. So since we're gonna edit the textures, it doesn't matter which uh, eye you choose in the beginning. You see here, I have blue eyes, but it doesn't matter, you can choose any. So what we're gonna do to make this easier, we're gonna right click and show game model in Explorer. And that will bring this up and this shows where you have the model. And from here it's easier to find where the texture is. So as you see here, we are in uh, Workshop, Models, Props Platoon 2 and Inkling Girl. So what we're gonna do is Go back to uh, workshop and go to materials instead. Then scroll down to models right here. Props platoon 2. Inkling boy. And then which color you want to edit. And I'm gonna go with orange. And then here inkling eye orange. And make sure it's .vtf because that is the texture file. And what we're gonna do since I have vtf edit installed as you can see by the icon. I'm just gonna double click to open it. And here we have it. And to make this as simple as possible, I'm gonna press Ctrl C to copy it, or you could click here, copy. And then I'm gonna open up paint.net and then paste it in. And then make sure to go up here and crop the selection. And if you wanna know how to edit, I have a couple of tutorials on paint.net, so you can check them out. But for now, I'm just gonna use one of my existing textures. So here we have one of them, which I'm working on, which will probably be the thumbnail of this video. So now we have our texture, and this is really important. Thanks, Lottie, for telling me, and I think she heard it from Flory. But anyway, what you have to do is go to properties on the layer, and turn down the opacity to... 5. Yes, it's weird, you can barely see it at all, but it is there, and now you can save it. So go to File, and Save As. But make sure you save it as a PNG file, because otherwise you will not have the transparency, which is crucial for this. So make sure it's a PNG, and I'm just gonna name it Paw Guys. Yeah. <laughs> and then, okay. So here we have the eyes, and it doesn't look like much, but you can see it's there. It's very... You can barely see it, but it is there. So now we have to go to VTF Edit and click File and Import. And then locate the file. And then here, Paw Guys. And this is also important. Make sure the alpha format is set to DXT3. So basically, just copy what I have here and click OK. So now we have the eye here, and now we can save it. So File and save as, and just save it somewhere. So I'm gonna name it Guys again. So here we have it. So now go back to your file explorer, and if you closed it, you have to go to your drive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, uh, and Source Filmmaker. And for those who are already here, uh, just click on Source Filmmaker here. So you can go back here, and then game, and now we're gonna save the textures, and I'd suggest saving it in user mod, materials, models, and make a folder here, and since I already have one, I'm just gonna use my folder here, Fall Oliver, and then paste it in, like that. So now we can go back to SFM and try it out. So you shouldn't have to restart SFM, but if you run into any issues, try restarting, but you shouldn't have to at least. So now what we're gonna do is right click on the model, add override materials, then right click again, Show in element viewer, model, then expand materials, and here eyeball L and eyeball R. Expand these and uh, right click on them, add attribute, and pick string, and then type in dollar sign iris. And here you're gonna type in the location of uh, your texture, and for me it's uh, models, fall oliver, and the name of the texture. So I'm gonna type in models backslash fall oliver backslash pog eyes and there we go look at that <laughs> looks pretty good and then the same thing for the right one so right click add attribute string type in dollar sign iris if i can spell it iris and then type in the same thing i'm just gonna copy it to save time and there we go so that's how to make your own eye textures, and if you want to know how to make custom textures for the clothes, I also have a tutorial for that, and also other tutorials, so check them out. And that's all I have to say, so thanks so much for watching, and bye!